In this video, we'll show how you can add rotation grips to your dynamic blocks using the rotation parameter and the polar stretch action. As an example, we are going to make an adjustable crane arm. We start by separating the base of the crane from the boom by a known distance of 50 feet. This allows us to make the boom arm dynamic without affecting the base. Highlight all objects, including the base, and type block. Give the block a name, set the insertion point, check the box that says Open in Block Editor, and click OK. Navigate to the Parameters tab of the Block Authoring palette. Select Polar Parameter. Set the distance from the start of the boom to the end of the boom. Click to place the label. Click on the parameter to view its properties. Set the distance type to increment and set the increment to 1 foot. Set the distance minimum to 31 feet 7 inches. The length of the boom from start to end. We only want to allow stretching the boom arm beyond this length, not making it shorter. Set the distance maximum to an appropriate length. We'll set ours to 55 feet. Set chain actions to yes. Set grips to one and specify the front grip at the end of the boom. Now we'll add a rotation parameter. Navigate to the parameters tab of the block authoring palette and select rotation parameter. Specify the base point at the start of the boom. This should be the same point as the start of our polar parameter. Specify the radius at the end of the boom. Click to place the label. Click on the parameter to view its properties. Set chain actions to yes and grips to zero. Now we need to apply actions to these parameters. Navigate to the actions tab of the block authoring palette. Select a polar stretch action and apply it to the polar parameter. Specify the front grip. Place the stretch frame. We want it to intersect only the portion of the boom that we want to stretch. Select the objects to stretch. In this case, we want only the outline of the boom and the color hatch. We also need to select the rotation parameter so the actions will successfully chain. Now let's apply an action to the rotation parameter. Select a rotation action and apply it to the rotation parameter. When prompted to select objects, Select all objects except the outline of the boom and the color hatch that we used for the polar stretch action. All done. Click on test block to confirm that the dynamics are working as intended. Looks like our dynamic crane arm is working. We'll close the test block and move the crane base back underneath the boom, making sure to set the boom's draw order to front so it always appears on top of the base. Now you can create dynamic blocks that stretch and rotate. For more videos like this one, visit landeffects.com slash powertips or check out the Land Effects phone app.